Hi, I'm professional sports handicapper Ross Benjamin of rbwins.com. It's Monday, July 20th, and it's time for the final edition of my 32-part NFL regular season win total series. Covered 31 of the 32 teams already. The last team in line, the Pittsburgh Steelers, we'll talk about today. Folks, if you missed any of the um, or some or all of the previous 31 videos I did on NFL regular season win totals, missed your favorite team, no problem. You can access all the archives. The season doesn't start for another month and a half or so, um, and you can access them by going to the OSGA YouTube channel and subscribe there. Cost absolutely nothing. There's no strings attached. Not only can you access all my archive videos, you could also access the Raymond Report podcast hosted by Ron Raymond and yours truly as the, uh, the co-host. So uh, go there, subscribe, cost you nothing. As a matter of fact, folks, in the future, all sports betting videos in that podcast I just alluded to, the Raymond Report, you'll be notified right away by the OSGA YouTube channel whenever any of those future videos are posted. All right, so let's get to the matter at hand. The Pittsburgh Steelers, they went 8-8 eight and eight a season ago. They missed the playoffs for a second consecutive season, and that's not a normalcy under the tutelage of Mike Tomlin. So why did they miss the playoffs last year? Real simple. Big Ben Roethlisberger only was able to play in two games the first two of the year, and he went down with a season-ending injury, and the Steelers really struggled at the quarterback position. Teams stacked the box and forced uh, both Pittsburgh backup quarterbacks to beat them through the air. And for a while there, they were, it was working out okay, mostly because their defense was so strong. But um, again, it ultimately caught up to them at the end of the year. After an 8-5 and five start, looking like they're in a great position to make the playoffs, they lost their last three games. And something similar happened the year before as well. Matter of fact, in 2018, the Steelers started the year 7-2-1 and one and finished the year 2-4. and four. Uh, Final record of 9-6-1 and one. did not what was not good enough, I should say, to qualify for the playoffs. So we got to keep an eye on the Steelers down the stretch because they faded badly uh, in the last two years in that situation. Now, their over and under win total right now is at nine and a half. And to go over that number, it comes at money line odds of plus 110. And to go under nine and a half at money line odds of minus 140. I already. Uh, alluded to ben, Big Ben's injury a season ago, which uh, caused him to miss four, the last 14 games of the year. The Steelers are hoping he returns to the form that he displayed in 2018 uh, in his 15th season back in 2018. Big Ben had career highs of 34 touchdown passes and over 5,100 yards passing. So it's not like he's far removed from playing at a high level. Uh, we just have to question at his age going into a 17th season is injuries starting to creep up on him. We all know, with no disrespect intended, but Big Ben doesn't keep himself in top physical shape uh, like uh, Drew Brees or a, or, or a Tom Brady. Uh, he still can perform on the field, but sooner or later the uh, age catches up to you unless you're in tip-top shape. Having said that, James Conner, the running back for Pittsburgh, who two years ago accounted for over 1,400 yards of total offense from scrimmage, uh, he also regressed last year and missed the last six games of the season. Now, he didn't regress because he missed the last six games of the year. Uh, during the 10 games in which he played, he only rushed for uh, 474 yards uh, he only had a, over 700 yards of total offense from scrimmage. So his numbers were declined uh, even if he played an entire 16-game uh, schedule. He would have been hard-pressed to uh, get close to what he produced in 2018. They're going to need him to stay healthy. They're going to need Big Ben to stay healthy uh, to keep opposing defenses um, on their toes and Pittsburgh's going to have to be a lot more balanced than they were a season ago. 
they have the wide receivers to do it. Juju Smith is a uh, up and coming uh, star wide receiver out of USC. James Washington is a deep threat out of Oklahoma State. And Deontay Johnson was a uh, very productive slot receiver in the time he was given the opportunity last year. Look for big things from him this year if Big Ben stays healthy. At the tight end position, they're in good shape. They picked up veteran Eric Ebron, who formerly of the Indianapolis Colts and the Detroit Lions. He's been a productive player, especially um, later in his career. And also they have mainstay uh, Vance McDonald still with the club. So they're in good shape at the tight end position. A couple guys who can catch the ball, pretty good blockers too, especially McDonald. And uh, the defense last year was absolutely outstanding. Um, they deserved a lot better than an 8-8 eight and eight record. They were number one in the NFL in sacks, and they also led the league in forcing turnovers. If they play anywhere near close to what they did a season ago, and Big Ben can stay healthy along with James Conner, uh, Pittsburgh will have a legitimate shot at a division crown or at least, at the very least, an AFC wildcard spot. However, it's a big if. Remember, uh, Big Ben's going into his 17th uh, season coming this year, and he had arm problems a season ago. Who knows if he's fully recovered from that, if his arm strength's going to stay the same. And, you know, Father Time can catch up to a lot of uh, athletes uh, at Ben Roethlisberger's age, especially athletes like Big Ben, without any disrespect intended. Doesn't keep himself in tip-top shape uh, in comparison to guys like Drew Brees and Tom Brady. Having said that, um, now you have, I have to make a decision on whether they'll go over or under nine and a half wins. You look at their um, road schedule, tough non-division games against Tennessee, Dallas, and Buffalo on the road. Then you have to um, factor in they go on the road to take on Baltimore, who swept them last year for the first time since 2015. Another division opponent, the Cleveland Browns, I really like as a dark horse in AFC North this year. A lot of people tell me I'm crazy. No hype this year. They're, they're flying in under the radar, and I think the Browns are going to be a factor. And then if you look at Pittsburgh's non-division home games of late, 6-6 six and six over the last 12, not very good. Um, I'm going to take a small shot here. This can go either way, but it's a matter of if Big Ben stays healthy, they'll go over the total. I'm banking on the fact that that's not going to happen. And playing in a division with Baltimore and Cleveland is going to be much tougher. And even with Big Ben, I'm going under nine and a half wins at money line odds of minus 140 on the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's Pittsburgh under nine and a half regular season wins at money line odds of minus 140. If you're a baseball fan, I already have a pickup for Thursday in the season opener between the Washington Nationals and the New York Yankees. Great pitching matchup with Max Scherzer going for the Nationals. And for the Yankees, the newly acquired Garrett Cole, who won 20 games a season ago. 10-star best bet up right now, 46-31. and 31. I ended last season with my MLB 10-star top plays. That's 60%. Again, that's rbwins.com, where you pay a little to make a lot. Until the next video, which will be later this week, uh, I'd like to wish each and every one of you all the best and good luck.